symbolic interactionism, and what you need to know. Greetings, glorious citizens of this great empire. I'm sure you common people already know all too well the concepts of this theory. But alas, this short film is to inform the nitwits who can't seem to get a clue. Symbolic interactionism is a sociological term coined by the Yank Herbert Bloomer. That it was implicated by a series of different sociological theorists before him. The term is used to describe the relationship between the individual and society. More specifically, the interpretations of the material world and their relevant associations at a micro level. The base of this theory was first grounded by the renowned sociologist Max Weber and his theories on the action and meaning. His book, The Protestant Ethic in the Spirit of Capitalism, suggests that Protestantism, with all its swell set of norms and values, dear citizens, had a profound effect on the ideas of work and wealth. The idea of being devout, working hard, and being careful not to waste money on hedonistic desires. This is said to have made them more willing to accept the nature of work, thus illustrating that action follows meaning. Furthering symbolic interactionism was another American sociologist, George Herbert Mead. Although he did not fully create symbolic interactionism, it is said that his candid theories were fundamental to its development. His book, Mind, Self, and Society, highlighted the differences between I and me, where he wrote that I is the self as an active being within society, me is the abundance of knowledge of how one is perceived by that society. Alongside me was a Mr. Charles Horton Cooley, who described the me as the looking glass self where he suggested that the way in which we see ourselves does not come from who we really are, but instead, how we think others see us. These theories showed how our perceptions of this world, ourselves, and other people, have a profound influence on our identity and actions, both an individual and a collective level. Finally, Herbert Bloomer had elucidated all these theories into his book, Symbolic Interaction, which described the theory of the three Frank Principles. Number one. We act in certain ways to different people based on our society's interpretations. For instance, hippies. Look at these vile creatures. Hideous, aren't they? Our normal reaction when unfortunately confronted by any of these ignorami is to scurry away in horror. Or, that's right, to bash them over the skull until they appear normal again. 2. The meanings we associate with these rebel hippies are a product of social interaction, which is said to be culturally constructed. But God knows what culture would allow these delinquents to roam our streets. 3. Ah, see. Isn't that better? Our meaning-making of the perfect citizen has been re-established after which they have been radically changed. Now we can no longer live in fear and begin to treat them like normal human beings. Their meanings have now shifted to respectable, like-minded individuals. The man ready to work for the family and ah, uh, the filly ready to cook dinner. Likewise, we can continue with our daily lives. I hope this informative film has helped you understand fully what symbolic interactionism is. And remember, hippies, know your boundaries. <laughs>